This is a manual for a market speed indicator from bestorderflow.com. This indicator developed specifically to be ahead of the delta. So this is actually not a delta, while sometimes I call it a delta predictor, because it's more granular than a delta. And in some cases, it may predict where the delta will go. So it's actually faster than delta. Now, this is a speed of tape change. So this indicator demonstrate the speed of tape for buyers and for sellers, how fast sellers sell and how fast buyers buy. And it may become a signal for two different purposes, for reversal or continuation. This is example for reversal because the sellers increase their speed and they are very desperate to sell in this candle. But it resulted the price start moving upwards because right after that the buyers step in and increase their speed of buying. So reversal happens when the seller's speed increase, meaning they use a lot of efforts, but the results are very insignificant. Now we can use this indicator for a continuation. When the seller's speed increase, like in this candle, they increase the speed of sale. Then they added some more speed in the other candles, like over here and here and even here. They add some more speed to sell. And even in this candle, and it leads to continuation in the momentum for their efforts. Two different uh, ways to use this indicator, and it is highly dependent on the context. So when the candle is moving pretty fast, we would like to know what's going inside of the candle and who is adding the speed, specifically who was the last one. On this candle, on a previous one, that is historical candle, we see yellow outline around the green candle, meaning that the buyers in this candle were last to finish this candle. They added their speed, while previously uh, it was the sellers right over here who were adding their speed to sell, but they not succeeded. In the current candle that is developing at the moment, we also see that the yellow outline is switching between the red and green, indicating to us who is more active at the very moment. So right now we're seeing the last is active, greens switch to the red, back to the greens back to the red so back and forth now when this candle is ended then we will see who was the last in that candle so last were sellers so the sellers were last in that candle for three ticks they uh, were the last ones who added the speed to sell in this candle the desperate buyers added their buy over here now there is some momentum upwards, but now the seller is taking over. You see in a bright red color. So now we can follow what's in momentum happening in the developing candle. By following the outline in yellow, we know who is the latest in activity for speed change on the tape. Now we can see the speed is actually diminishing and diminishing speed may indicate as that there's no more active fight happening in this candle. That's why this candle is a dodgy that is squeezed from the top and from the bottom because the speed in tape less and less to compare with the speed in this candle. The fight was more active in this candle compared to candles over here. And as I switch from 30 seconds to uh, 3 minutes, I can see that speed was increased over here and it propelled this market upwards. But when the speed starts to get exhausted, there is a less and less speed of tape. We see this curve that indicates that we most likely going to reverse from upward to going down. And the thick yellow outline show us who is the latest in increasing their speed. Now green's taking over. We'll see what happens in a second. Now again, this is become historical with a 
thinner outline and this is the thicker outline right in the developing of this candle show us who is taking over with their speed who is the last one to increase this speed right now it's a greens the buyers increase their speed now it switched to the red and the red because they were last in the last three ticks they remain historically last in this candle and the attention of course is on the what's going on in the developing candle we see that buyers increase their speed and right now they last one in the speed increase and they remain the last historically and when we open properties for market speed indicator and going to a uh, section two we change any colors that we would like to notice that there's a two different shades for the same color if we take a look for this green and that green this is the brighter green indicates faster speed and this darker green indicates a normal or a slower speed for buying the same for the sellers you see the bright red color and the dark red color dark red color is the normal or slower speed to sell and the brighter red color is for the faster speed of sale we also can change the uh, the way the outlined looks like on the currently active building in the process candle this is thicker that the, indicates the latest activity thick uh, outline so it is the thicker outline yellow outline to compare with the historical yellow outline and the yellow outline indicates who is the last active inside of the candle that's why they each and every candle is divided on two on red and green to indicate as who is the last one in the momentum in the main properties for this indicator let us also configure the time interval and in this case it's a 1000 milliseconds which is equal to a one second that means in this situation we have three sales three sales and two buys during one second time then how we calculate if this speed of change speed of tape is higher than this we calculate in average for 20 bars and you notice that average speed with a dense color red and dense green and the speed that is above average is brighter brighter red and brighter green color now we calculate who is the latest out of these two because who was in the last three ticks and this number will define us who is the latest inside of the bar for last three ticks we see that red were last over greens the sales were last over buyers and definitely you need to adjust the number of ticks over here depending on the time frame you trading and the trading session Asian session, London session, or New York session. And these parameters let us uh, define the same sizes inside of this candle. So this candle parameter is, is a 30% for the left column and 70% for the right column of the bar. So the same is for the left side and right side, 30% and 70%.